the new phone that you are releasing, it's nearly $10,000. So what goes into a, a luxury mobile phone? What's it made of? I mean, you think $10,000, you think this has got to be made of some nice stuff, right? Yeah, first of all, it's made out of great 5 titanium, mm -hmm. leather, and the largest piece of sapphire screen we ever made. This one is almost 80 uh, carats of sapphire. It takes two weeks and it's virtually unscratchable. And so this device is, is unique for you guys because it's now going to operate on Android, right? Yeah, this is the new thing. After the separation from Nokia, we have more freedom to choose our technology platform. We have chosen Android because we believe uh, having customers all around the world, we want to have a system which is, was used and very intuitive and easy to use by everybody. There's a concierge button that, that's yeah. kind of interesting, right? If you press this button, the virtual key here, you get to all the services we offer with the phone. So the concierge, of course, is the most famous one. You can call, so you talk with a real person 24 hours a day, seven days a week in seven different languages. Wherever you are in the world, you can call and whatever you need, you can ask. Now, is the idea that a, a smartphone should be almost like a watch or something, that you could have a luxury smartphone? Because th that idea that's, isn't that widespread. That, that's the point. I mean, you don't, you don't need a $10,000 watch to tell me what's the time. You don't even need a watch today. You just look on your phone and you know what the time is. So this phone is, is not just to satisfy your functional benefit is just also to satisfy your emotional benefit. So it's like yeah, a luxury watch, a luxury car, a luxury suit or shoes. With technology changing so yeah. quickly, people always want to get a new smartphone and that kind of thing. So how, you know, how do you justify telling someone that they can invest in a $10,000 yeah. smartphone? First of all, with the platform we have with this phone, you can upgrade this phone at the touch of a button. So the value of this phone will last also for for, for many years. Surely like, an upgrade is different yeah. than a whole new device kind of hitting the market. Our customer, they regularly change our phone every one or two years uh, when the new models are coming out. So it's, it's not a problem for them to spend such an amount of money. Of course, if you compare to your normal standard of living, you kind of don't understand why this is happening. But there are a lot of people out there that are buying, spending million of impulse purchasing. When it comes to your brand and, and what you guys are selling, you guys have uh, non-smartphones that yeah. are still selling for a lot of money. So are you expecting those still to do well now that you've got this out? Well, we, we created this market almost 10 years ago and we started with voice-centric phones with keys and they were very successful. Uh, they are still very successful in some parts of the world, for example, in China, there are a lot of people who do not want to deal with smartphones. They just want to press a button and call someone and get the things done. But of course, we have to admit that the world is changing, is going towards the smartphone, especially US. US is a smartphone market, so you need to have an offer also in, in that segment.